hello everybody and welcome back to the pipe cottage i want to talk about mission pipes been wanting to do this for a long time just really hadn't got down to doing it so i'm going to share with you uh, some of my pipes that i got and we're going to talk a little bit about it we're going to shell down the corn and have a good time talking about it i got one of my missions here today uh one of my eagle claw missions i'm going to smoke and i'm going to show you some other ones some of this mess out of the way. Let me fire this sucker up right here. In it, I got squadron leader. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Squadron leader is one of my favorite English blends. Been raining here today. Good Lord, how much we've been having. A whole lot of rain. But hang on, I'm going to talk to you in a minute. Hang on. Don't get no all fired hurry. Now, mmm, don't have it quite going yet. The title of this video is Mirsham, the Aristocrat of Pipe uh, Smoking. Uh, the Aristocrat of Smoking Pipes, excuse me. <laughs> the Aristocrat of Smoking Pipes. One of the reasons for that is Mearsham can some kind, sometimes get expensive. Don't see too many of them anymore. Don't see too many folks smoking Mearsham pipes like they used to. But I got a couple of things I want to read to you that uh, talk to us a little bit about Mearsham, there's no use in me trying to write anything new for, for this conversation. I'll share some thoughts with you, but let me see, can I find it again? Lord have mercy. Here we go. Here we go. This is, good Lord, that's a big chapter. This the book is entitled Antique Pipes. Benjamin Rappaport. I guess that's how you say that. Rappaport. That sounds good to me. And anyhow, he's got a couple of chapters in here on uh, Mearsham pipes, and they're real, real good. And listen to this now. He said, It has been said that the cigarette smoking craze in the United States had a significant effect on the Mearsham industry. All good things come to an end at some point in time. The delicate and slight, even the massive, the bulky Mearshams were impractical, never fashioned for a hurried 20, 20th century industrialized world of assembly lines, crowded buses and elevators, and middle class income. But the magical and captivative nature of Mearsham has kept its popularity alive, and the ranks are now augmented by a new breed of young, curious, and enlightened collectors committed to preserve the cult of the white goddess. So what is Mearsham? Well, it's this here um, um let me go back to the front part of this. I, th this this is a humongous chapter. Mearsham has been called Venus of the Sea, White Goddess, Sepia Light, Sea Foam of Froth. It has been identified as hydrous magnesium silicate, an opaque white, gray, or cream-colored mineral of the soapstone family. Um, it is a mineral. Although it has not been produced commercially in the United States since 1914, Mearsham has been found in Pennsylvania, South Carolina, Utah, and uh, New Mexico. But uh, most of it today comes from Turkey, and they go... Uh, anywhere from 30 to 400 feet below the surface of the earth to find the magnesium content that they're looking for. And so it takes a lot of effort. It's not like, uh, well, not to say that Briar doesn't take a lot of effort. Of course it does. But um, I didn't get into Mearsham's until probably, whew, I guess, two or three years ago. 
I had started with briar pipes, and that's all I had for a long time. We had some corn cob stuff, you know, but uh, Mearsham, you, they they kind of can get a little bit expensive. Uh, I got a few of the ones out of my collection here, and uh, I think each one of these pipes cost anywhere from $250 to $300. And so uh, they can get a lot, lot more expensive uh, uh, than that. It all depends on how large the block is that uh, the pipe is made from and it depends on the artwork that goes into it i was watching a video on uh, youtube earlier trying to prepare for this conversation and i saw a business insider video you may have seen it if you know anything about uh, if you've researched mirrorship at all online and uh, Business Insider predicts that uh, this, this video is about a year ago it was put up, that the price of Mearsham pipes is going to increase substantially over the, the next few years. And uh, one of the reasons that they speculate that's going to happen is that uh, pipe smoking is going up in demand. More and more people are getting back into uh, pipe smoking as a hobby. But uh, the demand is now exceeding the supply. Not, not, not necessarily the supply of quality Mearsham block, but the supply of quality craftsmen. Uh, there's not a whole lot of young people who are getting into um, pipe making with uh, Mearsham block. And so it's, I don't, I think, that I don't know that you can get Mearsham anywhere other than, than in Turkey. Uh, it has to be purchased from over there, and I don't know all the details about how that that is is done legally and politically because i know there is a history of embargoes and that sort of thing in that part of the world but um they have <laughs> it, it requires a lot of work it requires a great deal of work to make a mission pipe i'd watched a couple people do it online and i just can't imagine i can't imagine it's, it's very very tedious very tedious work now there was this. This is David Hackett Fisher's, uh, not David Hackett Fisher, Richard Carlton Hacker's <laughs> uh, pipe book that he uh, came out with a long time ago. This book's probably thirty years old or more now. And so he's talking about uh, Mearsham in, in in one of these uh, early chapters. And I like what he has to say here on page one hundred one. For pipe smoking, the purest of the smoking arts, compromises never give complete satisfaction. And it, you, 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 you've got to really uh, know what you're doing when you're buying a meerschaum because you, you want block meerschaum. You don't want something that's made from uh, different different pieces, uh, pulverized, synthetically altered uh, meerschaum is the way he calls it here. In buying a meerschaum, the basic rule applies by quality. However, because Mearsham has no grain, you must console yourself by only looking for shape. And if it is a carved Mearsham, being extra selective as to the quality of the carving. Because most Mearshams are produced by the same basic coterie of Turkish carvers, you may find the same type of, of pipe sold under a variety of importers' names. Uh, and he says, among the best are those pipes brought into this country. Among the best brought into this country are SMS, CAO, Royal, m and Trading Company. I've got some SMS and CAO, I think, and a Royal or two up yonder. So, uh, ha however, a smooth and polished mirror without any carving is a very attractive pipe and will color just as well as a carved version, although without all the intricacies of the darker brown cracks and crevices where the tobacco juices and smoke has soaked through first. As you can probably see, I've not smoked these meerschaums nearly as often as, as I do my briar, and so they're not colored as well as they will be later on. Uh, it takes time. It, it really, really does take time to make this happen, but I'm just looking through the rest of this information to see if there's anything else I need to share, but I don't think it is. Meerschaum was uh, pretty popular in the 18th and 19th centuries. Actually, I think Meerschaum was probably most popular in the 19th century. Um, I know a lot of um, people who smoke pipe tobacco during the Civil War, they would often have Mearsham pipes. And uh, Jefferson Davis's pipe that he had in prison after the war at Fortress Monroe is now in a museum. Don't ask me where that museum is presently. It's, it's, I guess it may be in Richmond, uh, Richmond, Virginia. But um, he had an eagle claw 
uh, Mearsham. Some people call them a dragon claw, such as this one that I was trying to get started here a while ago. Um, I don't call them dragon claws. That's not the traditional way to describe it. It's an eagle claw, Mearsham. I think that's more appropriate. But uh, I wanted to tell you about one particular company. They sent me a couple of pipes, uh, MBSD pipes. They're not, they're not sponsoring uh, this channel or sponsoring this video. I just wanted to give them a shout out. Uh, because they, they're trying to do something unique, MBSD pipes. I think they've been around for maybe, oh, three, four years now. If I'm not mistaken. They sent me a couple of them and I've tried them. They're wonderful. What makes them unique, one of the many problems with a, a Mearsham pipe is the way the stem attaches to the bowl. Uh, for this one, for instance, screws in. This is an SMS. I don't like Mearsham pipes that have stems that screw in. I just really think that the, uh, the um, threads, it, it, you, you run the risk of the thread's messing up, so I, don't, I hardly ever, ever, ever take my stems off of the Mearsham pipes uh, for the simple reason that, number one, there's probably no reason to do so. You can, if you've got a good pipe, you can get a pipe cleaner down through the uh, stem all the way through the shank to the bottom of the bowl with ease. And so that's generally what I do. But with these, they've got what they call a, what they call it, a briar mortise technology. It's a patented briar mortise technology. So what they do is they take a piece of briar and put in the shank of the Mearsham bowl, and it's attached very well. And then you have a regular tenon and a regular stem, uh, acrylic I, I think what it is here, that it just pops right in and out, fits snug, uh, just like a briar pipe. So the briar uh, mortise technology, I think they've got a patent on that. That's what makes these pipes so unique, the MBSD pipes. So check them out if you uh, are in the market. They've got good prices. I think they've got some pipes on there that you can get for $80 or $100, uh, Mearsham pipes. And they've also got some more ornate material that can cost up three or $400. But uh, this is not a large pipe, so I would imagine this pipe would run about $100, $120, something like that. So it's, but, but this pipe, oh my goodness, this pipe has a story behind it. <laughs> this, this pipe here, this is an SMS as well. When we were living in South Carolina, just well, just for comparison, I don't know if, how much you can see this on the camera. Look at the size of that bowl and the size of this. This is a $300 pipe. I would estimate this is about a $100, $120 pipe. Part of the reason is that the Mearsham block is more ornate. This has a wonderful floral design on it, beautiful little intricate flowers all over it. Oh, it's just pretty. And the bowl is bigger. It's a bigger piece of uh, Mearsham block. I almost hate to tell this story because I don't know that I'm supposed to. She won't matter. There was a wonderful small uh, pipe and cigar shop in Greenwood County, South Carolina. I don't even know whether it's there anymore. It was a flower shop, but they had a a, a tobacco counter on one end of it. The woman that ran the flower shop, her husband ran a tobacco bar. And so they blended their own stuff and it was real good. Uh, they had one blend called Southern Breeze, which was whoo, that's a good cherry tobacco. And they had outstanding uh, English blends that they would make. They don't have a website or nothing. I think it might just simply be called the tobacco shop. I don't recall. But I used to go in there and look at this pipe. And it sat on the shelf for, good Lord, months and months. Came with a pretty case. You can tell if you look at it close to side. The case was open in, in the shop, in the glass uh, shelving area they had it in. You could tell that the pipe had been there for a long time because the sun had faded one side of it that was open in the case and the other side that had been laying down was a different color. But uh, that don't matter. I've been eyeing that thing and my wife and I, oh, we had us a little bit of an argument one day. 
still don't to this day remember what the argument was about. But I do remember that later on that evening, she went to town, said she was going to get groceries. I guess she did, but she came back with a brown satchel from the tobacco shop, and this pipe was sitting in it. She paid $300 for this pipe. I told her, I said, honey, we need to, we, we need to kind of have little arguments uh, more often. <laughs> <laughs> but I love this pipe, and uh, almost every time I pick it up, I put a uh, Russellette's Firestorm in it. I don't know why. I just it's just got a that's the blend I want when I'm smoking that pipe. So I love that pipe, and uh, but I want you to check out MBSD pipes and uh, Mearsham. I don't I don't think they're going out of style as much as some people probably think they are. I, you know, most people have, if they have a pipe collection, they're going to have far more briars than they do Mearsham. But, but I do know several people who Mearsham's all they will smoke. I don't even know why I don't smoke them more often because they're, they're clean. They have a clean smoke. They smoke cool. You don't have to worry about it ghosting. Uh, and, but the thing about a Mearsham pipe is you got to be able to, you, you want to clean the inside of that bowl out nearly about every time after you smoke. At least that's what I do. I don't want a cake building up on the inside of that bowl. I want the tobacco stains and the oil and everything to get on the outside of it and permeate that sucker and make it look pretty. Change colors over time. That's fun just watching it change colors over time. But I got to get more in line with my color changing, with my pipes. I ain't smoking them enough when it comes to the mirror. All right, that's enough. I got to go. I'm going to make another video here directly for my new channel. Uh, I'll put a link to that new channel below. I'm going to talk a little bit about some agrarian ideology on the new channel over there. And uh, if that interests you, then go and check it out. And don't forget, if you uh, want to support the Pipe Cottage, go to Moose Run Coffee and get you some. Get you some of that Moose Run Coffee. Uh, we got our own blend now, the Pipe Cottage blend. And man, it'll make your tongue slap your brains out. <laughs> Let's see, is there anything else? Uh, Mule Town's coming up. I think I might be going to that. Several people have left comments wanting to know if I'm going to Mule Town down at uh, the Briarworks factory in Columbia, Tennessee. I'm 90% sure I'm going. Good Lord willing in the creek don't rise and barring some kind of unforeseen evil that I don't know anything about. So, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to do that. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is Alan Harrison with the Pipe Cottage. I got to go. Got to make me another video. And uh, tomorrow's Sunday, so we got to go to Mass. We get to go to Mass. Thank God for that. That's the high, high, high watermark of my week now. But anyway, I love you. Appreciate you. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. Get you a Mearsham pipe. Get you some pipe cottage coffee. <laughs> we'll see you next time.